Hey, profits be upon you. Hey, I'm taking a look at WTI crude oil, US oil. All right. This is the daily. And listen, uh, before I begin, I'm not trading today. I haven't cast any trades today. I'm just doing some analysis, right? Because of the bank holidays for most of the world, and except for the United States who took their, uh, uh, their Good Friday off and uh, uh, it wouldn't be a bank holiday for US banks today. But uh, you know, I, I don't wanna play in low volume days. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about, right? So let's go to oil. All right, what do I notice? All right, here you see how price pushes up, comes back, respects this low, pushes back up, breaking some interesting points of structure and uh, liquidity, right? And then comes back down to take this low out. Now, this is this is what I want you to notice. All right, uh, you have to. Uh, I always look for the demand because price only goes from demand to supply, back to demand, back to supply, back to demand, back to supply, that's it. That's the way, that's the way uh, price works, okay? From a bullish order block to a bearish order block and back to a bullish order block, rinse and repeat. The originating impulse, this strong impulse with all this momentum, I know this is a point of interest for the big boys, right? They have an interest in this, in this low to be protected. They brought, part, they brought price up deliberately to this area and then rocketed it off. So you have to put, that's, your antenna should go up at this point, right? So I'm gonna mark this demand as I marked it here, all right? You could, you know, when you can mark the whole range of that this last down candle before the bullish move, all right? Because you can say the uh, the zone starts here. Yeah, you most certainly could. But I'll start there, all right? From the open of the candle, where the down move, uh, where a lot of the uh, uh, transaction takes place in that body of the candle, right? And then the push up. Okay, so you can see how price trade back down in here and then back up, not touching this level here, all right? Now, if you look at it up close, you'll see that it just misses. So this becomes an inducement point. What is that? Just induces people to take, take, take uh, induces traders to take longs only to have, it, have price come back down to it and take them out take those stop losses out and take them out of the trade, all right? And it's right above a strong demand zone. So we have an inducement, a demand zone. This is, a, a, and a strong one at that, one that has accomplished something, a valid one. It, it, this is a ripe for a, a, a position to take, an area to look for long positions, at least some sensitivity to price where price will have some kind of reaction from this point. You understand? That's all the thought that goes into that, all right? So price comes back down, takes this liquidity point out with a wick. Now that's interesting. If price broke down here and closed, it would convince me that it wants to go lower. But when it immediately turns up and doesn't close below that low, it makes me think that it was just a liquidity grab and that there's some more upside action to, to follow, which happened. And you see the volume in these candles, right? You see the momentum in these candles. Is this a valid zone of demand? Yes, it is. Why? Because it broke supply. This was a supply zone. That's what you wanna look for. You wanna say, who's in control? Is it demand or is it supply? If, de if demand is in control, it will violate supply zones. It will violate supply zones like it did here. And that's where you can say, this is where demand rested control from supply. Let's take a closer look at the price action on the four hour. On the four hour, it becomes a little more obvious, okay? If I mark this, this zone of supply here, all right, as price, you know, came up, took that, took the liquidity on this high here 
and leaving this point of inducement right below a fair value gap going into a, uh, a supply zone. This is ideal conditions for short, a, a short play here, an unmitigated zone, an imbalance leading up into that zone, an imbalanced zone, uh, so, to say, uh, so to speak, and an inducement point. But price makes its way down, breaks the lows. This is a valid zone then, a valid zone of supply. And we make these low, there's lower lows, lower low, all right? You see how price breaks this low here, all right? Breaks that low, see that line? Remember this line from the other uh, inducement point? We take those low out. This is a valid zone of, of demand, uh, supply and it takes it out, boom, all right? So you say to yourself, okay, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be looking for sales at this point if I'm violating supply, understand? All right, so price goes up, takes out this zone of supply. And what do I always say? If you're looking at my videos, you'll know that I always look for those reactions, the reactions to the broken supply. This is a flip zone, all right? This is a flip zone. It flips from supply to demand. Why do I like why do I, why am I marking it here? The supply, I mean, the demand in these wicks, in the wicks, right? Because look at the reaction to the zone. Yeah, we had a reaction here. This is the extreme of that reaction. It goes up in here and then comes back out. I like this as a zone of demand. The other reason is it broke supply. This was the last demand. This was the demand, the last demand that broke that supply. So I look at it as valid. And we have a little bit of imbalance to fill, right? We have a little bit of imbalance to fill. Price is already making a point of, of liquidity to come and get as it pulls back up. It'll come back down and take these lows out for liquidity. And we can see price continue higher. Very well, if price could very well continue higher from here, no doubt, all right? I would love it to pull back. And I would take this, what I would consider a high probability trade to the upside, I would because we are breaking short-term lows and we're breaking, uh, we would be breaking structure. We would be breaking structure, all right? I love these pullbacks. I love the pullbacks because when you break them, when you break them, it's, it's saying to yourself, it's saying a hey, price is a breaking market structure, whether it's substructure or major structure, it is breaking structure. And that indicates a strong bias. You understand? A stronger bias anyway. So. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. I'm hoping to get something like that, right? Or if price continues up higher from here, that's okay, all right? Because at some point, we're gonna get, we're gonna get this area and I'll, I'll be looking for my favorite situation. Oh man, what is this? Why is it, my, 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 this thing is not acting right today, all right? I'm looking for a pullback. I can't get it to do it right. And a break of that low, and then a return to impulse, and then back down. That's what I'm looking for. Back down, taking out these lows, and coming to this zone down here. All right, this is the high time frame zone of demand. And I would have this zone, eh, I would have this zone um, quite possibly refined to this area here. Okay, something like this here, yeah, something like this, and quite possibly down. Come and take out the uh, take out these liquidity points here, fill in this uh, fair value gap into this zone of demand, and then back up. All right, but that's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, <laughs> got a little flip going. I'm hoping that this flip gets validated once it comes back down here, and then we can come up here and and tap into what I believe is a valid zone of supply. It could very well that, uh, violate this, but that would bring prices really up. That would be a bigger ask, okay? And uh, I do like uh, the low down here to be taken out at some point. So this, this is what we're monitoring now, okay? I hope you find value in this. If you do, give me a like, all right? Subscribe if you wanna 
catch the updates because I always update. Make sure you check the community tab and make, do make sure you join the Lion Den, the Lions Den of uh, uh, free Telegram. And up until the end of April, up until the end of April, we have free. Uh, 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 you know, it, it, we have a free promotion running for Lions Den private discord. All right, just join, all right, just join. Go to lionsdenfx.live, uh, all right, and uh, you'll see how to do so. Uh, come to the uh, free to Telegram and uh, direct message Drunken Monkey and come and get the benefits of, of our VIP D, uh, discord up until the end of April. Get those benefits, man see the benefits and then at the end of april come may uh you'll see that uh, uh the price of admission will be paid for by the first trade you'll see that uh you'll you, you know it's worth uh the price of admission for sure all right i'll see you in the next video thanks for taking a few moments out of your day with me